if a plus five actually equals 13? And Z Googles the easiest word just to make sure it's spelling. And also Z is less inclined to go to university. So, did you get what kind of Z I'm talking about? Generation! Yes, this is Generation Z. Well, in simple words, Generation Z is a post-millennial generation engaging people born between 1995 and 2009. They're also called Zoomers, by the way. The previous generation was the generation of millennials or Gen Xers, who are basically our parents. And you know what? Both of these generations grew up in technological era, so they're pretty much comfortable with handling technology. So that's why they're considered, considered a bit di uh, similar with each other. It is maybe so, but there's a slight difference. Let me clarify the things. How many of you know the sound? Well, actually, this is the sound of logging into internet when it was first invented in 1997. Um, at that time, we were probably hearing this sound or making this sound, right? Or you even making were making nothing because you weren't born then. Well, and I can totally consider myself a part of Gen Z community. And you know, being a uh, Gen Z community, I witnessed, and I probably say I experienced disagreements and misunderstandings between Gen Z and elder generations. According to Pew Research study, the top areas of disagreement between young and old are the use of technology and taste in music. So much relatable, isn't it? But this is not only about it, because there is a whole list, including moral values, religious beliefs, political views, and so on. But in general, according to Pew Research Study, yeah, Pew Research Study, I guess Pew did more researches than any other institution, but back to track, according to it, all generations regard all their generations as a superior in moral values and their respect for them. That's pretty much obvious, especially referring to our Uzbek society. But in general, youth tends to regard all their generations a bit conservative. In general, our generation has become more democratic and politically active. But that's not the point. Let's talk about the future in education. Well, there is a belief that older generations have created problems that younger ones have to solve. And indeed, due to a survey, majority of Gen Xers don't think that they're living the world a better place to live. Though, a part of Gen X believes that Zoomers are not responsible enough to be in charge of global problems or even the workplace. Gen Z is the coming generation to get employment all over the world, so some older people they're like, can they actually run governments? And most of Gen Z don't understand this kind of perspective. Well, I analyzed the reason for this kind of thinking and I came to conclusions. And now, I want you to imagine a typical teenager. What do you see in your mind? Probably something like this. An ordinary boy or girl staring at their phones. Older people suppose that Gen Z have become awful procrastinator because they have everything they need for good living. Internet, you got it. Gadgets like smartphones, laptops, smartwatches, you also got it. We even have smart houses, not to mention Wi-Fi we're always looking for. And from a millennial's point of view, that's the reason for them to feel kind of more relaxed because they possess things that our ancestors didn't used to have. And this point of view seems so much believable. And I have the numbers saying the opposite. This is the number of people intending to work harder than previous generations. This is the number of teenagers preferring face-to-face -face communication with future colleagues. This is the number of teenagers intending to work until they're 61 or 70. And 74% of all teenagers having a desire to build their own business. These numbers are big, aren't they? And, in fact, while millennials are considered to be confident generation, Gen Z is considered to be com competitive and financially focused. 
We're also multitasking. The banalest example of this is a teen doing his homework, listening to music with TV turned on and texting to his friends simultaneously. He is accomplishing four tasks at once, which is nothing else but multitasking skill, which is believed to be a high demand skill in workplace. And statistically, we're a way positive generation than any other, no matter how untrue it might seem to our parents. And yes, we are positive. We want to live the life, not to do the good living. We want to feel the moment, not to fit in. And we want to be happy, of course. And I know for sure that our generation is the next step of development to the world. Thank you.